Hello, welcome to Bond Public Library's Booked on Books program. My name is Donna Lee. We've read a lot of great books over the last few months. We've had a lot of fun at our monthly Zoom meetings. We've also had lots of great activities on our website. There's new activities most weeks that are part of this program. I'm very excited to introduce our new book for the month of April. We're going to be reading Run by Eric Walters. Eric Walters is a very popular, well-known Canadian children's author. He's written great books for young people of different ages. This particular one, it's a chapter book that's really good for children who are in the middle grades. If you look carefully at the book cover, that image might look familiar. That's actually a picture of Terry Fox. So Terry Fox is, of course, well-known Canadian hero. I really like this book because this is a chance to really get to know Terry Fox. He's a character in this story. The story is based on true events. It's about a boy named Winston, whose father is a journalist. And they're covering the Terry Fox story and covering his marathon of hope. I'm very excited about this book because for me, Terry Fox isn't just a name. It's not just the name on a run that people do in the fall. For me, Terry Fox is actually a memory. I saw Terry Fox. I was a girl. I was traveling with my parents. We were traveling in Northern Ontario along the Trans-Canada Highway. We saw him just north of Wawa along the shores of Lake Superior. In fact, I can tell you the date that I saw Terry Fox because this is our page from our logbook. We kept a logbook of our trip. We saw him on August 20th, 1980, and it says that we saw Terry Fox. There were cars coming down the road very slowly. We weren't sure what was happening. And then in the distance, we could see Terry running. He was all by himself, and we could see him running that very distinct gait that he had. And we stopped the car, and we got out, and we clapped for him, and we cheered him. It was a very wonderful moment to see Terry Fox running. We did get some pictures of him running. I'm sorry that the picture's not better. It's old and blurry. But I'll never forget that day, seeing Terry Fox running along the Trans-Canada Highway. So I'm very excited to read this book, because it's an opportunity to really get to know Terry Fox. I wanted to read you a section. This is where he's being interviewed to find out where he got the idea to start his marathon of hope. My notes say you were diagnosed with cancer back in March of 1977. A form of bone cancer called osteogenic sarcoma, Terry explained. And a few days after making the diagnosis, they took the leg off. Five days later, Terry said. Your right leg, my father continued. I'm pretty sure that's the one, Terry said with a smile, as he reached down and knocked on the artificial limb. So what did you think of this whole idea of walking across Canada, my father asked. I'm not walking across Canada, I'm running, Terry said. I could hear the annoyance in his voice, and he sat up stiffer. Anybody could walk across the country, I'm running. What was the big deal? Could he really be running on one leg anyway? My father nodded. Yes, of course, running. I'm raising money for cancer research. I think the running part started the night before they took off my leg. I read an article in a magazine that my old high school basketball coach, Terry Fleming, brought me. He had read the article and thought I should read it too. It was about an amputee runner, a guy who ran in the New York City Marathon. That's how you got the idea about being able to run. But when did you get the idea about running across the country? My father persisted. That night, he said. I know it sounds strange, but I dreamed about it that night while I was lying there in the hospital bed, waiting for them to amputate my leg. A shiver went up my spine. What would that have been like, lying in bed, trying to sleep, knowing that when I woke up they'd be wheeling me into an operating room and taking off my... I had the idea, but I didn't tell anybody about it right then, Terry continued. I had to convince myself it was possible before I talked to anybody else about it. And the fundraising part? My father asked. That came almost right away, too. I saw a lot when I was being treated. I read a lot. And I found out how little money was being spent on research to try to cure cancer. Being a cancer victim, you'd certainly be more aware of these things. I don't think of myself as a victim, Terry said. I'm a survivor. A cancer survivor. I got up and walked away from it. Now I'm doing something for those who didn't get a chance to walk away. You have to understand that I'm one of the lucky ones, the people who survived cancer. I remember those who weren't so lucky. I've been there in the cancer ward with other people. This is my way of trying to make the hurt stop, 
so that other people don't have to suffer or die. So that's where I'm going to stop reading for now, but you don't have to stop. You can get a copy and read along with us. We do have copies of our book chat set available. If you want a copy, you can contact us through our Ask Us desk or through our information desk. You do need a Vaughn Public Library card to sign it out. We do not have a copy of this available as a digital copy, but there is a children's biography of Terry Fox that is available through Hoopla, and you could read that instead if you wish. We'll also have some great activities this month on our website. There's going to be a great activity about Canadian heroes. There's going to be another activity about everyday heroes in your own life, plus some other activities as well. And our monthly Zoom meeting will be at the end of the month on Tuesday, April 27th at 7 o'clock. And you do need to register through Eventbrite.